What's up? You can join this, okay? <laughs> I'm uh, Ronnie Stoner, Newburg Middle School. This is Karen Evans. She's our Youth Service Center coordinator. Um, how this all happened? You 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 heard from GE uh, and their participation in the, this partnership. Um, when, when it came to us, first let me thank GE and Community Service uh, Corporation of, of what you guys did in terms of uh, inviting us into this project. I want to thank Miss Adele for her continued support throughout the whole entire year with, you know, with what you see here. That's that's huge from the principal. Um, so when we got this, uh, we hit the ground rolling in, in, in August. And what we did is we went around and we promoted. All right, we're, we're going to collect caps. I will, the kids are like, well, why are we collecting caps? All right, we're collecting caps and plastic lids to build a bench. And of course, saying it to a 12, 13 year old kid, it makes no sense at all. So of course, uh, we got together and we made uh, trifold boards and we, we put all the information about this project on trifold boards we had a garbage can cut a, a hole at the top and that's where we collected our lids uh, from there we started a competition we, 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 we try to make it fun for the kids so we started a competition in the classroom uh, with the majority of the science teachers um, within the classroom and throughout the building. So what that competition entailed is that whoever collected the most caps per month got a chance to win a pizza party as well as take a field trip to GE uh, to be able to see how the, their recycling center does business, uh, which was very educational for the, for the kids. And they, uh, they learned a lot, they had fun. Um, from there, we... Um, where to go next uh, yeah we started that's, that's when the cap thing started so the funny story about this project is that the first I'll say three or four bags all right we got them collected I was like all right let's let's start let's start cleaning them up going through them cycling through getting out the good caps and the bad caps and the garbage and hot dogs and pizzas and everything else that was in it um, so once once we did that uh, it became, those six bags became one bag really quick. And Karen Evans looks at me and said, oh, stoner. Oh, there's no way. I said, no, no just just have patience, Karen. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So going through about six or eight more bags, we got another bag out of it. So as you can imagine, going through the school year from August up until now, we've went through this team here has went through a lot of bags of stuff all right to pull out caps that are acceptable to be able to make this bench right here uh, so that's pretty much been our journey these guys have done a great job of um, you know gloving up and spending some time out of the classroom to be able to go all year long to be able to um, to, to get this project done and we're just excited about it. They've learned a lot about recycling. Karen's learned a lot about recycling. Uh, so th that's been our journey. I'm gonna ask Jayana Bracken, one of our eighth grade students, Jayana, where you at? To come up and share her side of the story. Hello. Henry D. Balzac once said, it is easy to sit up and take notice, but as difficult as getting up and taking action. My name is Jayana Bracken, and I am a ninth grader at Newburgh Middle. I have been partaking in sorting bottle caps for the past year, and it has come to the cumulative a total of 1,100 pounds. I've learned that the world is growing and each human being adds significant ways to the planet over his or her lifetime. We have taken of waste that humans create and turned into a bench for the talk people that has no right to ride a bus and have somewhere to sit. Thank you. Thank you, Jayana. Appreciate it. Um, Maya Nelson, she's gonna share her part of the story. Hello. My name is Maya Nelson. I am also an eighth grader here at Newburgh Middle School and have been participating in the recycling of 1,100 pounds of bottle caps over the past school year. Someone once said, recycling turns things into other things, which is like magic, and it truly is. I've learned that recycling is the process of converting waste materials into reusable objects and, in our case, 
In our case, we've created a bench for people in the Newburgh community to sit upon while waiting for the bus. We have faced many challenges as we've come <coughs> through the hundreds of bags of bottle caps. Many of the caps that we received were covered in liquids and things, but we had to keep it pushing. We wrenched, dried, and have even scraped food off of the caps just so that they could qualify to be sent in. And of course, teamwork has made all of our, all of our efforts possible. I'm especially excited for this bench because at one time there was a concrete bench that was falling to pieces and wasn't proper for sitting on. When I think about all of the people who will be able to sit on this bench and take a load off, it creates a, a feeling inside of me of immense gratitude towards all the people who have worked so hard to make this feat possible. Our goal this year was to collect 500 pounds, but I'm proud to say that we have accumulated about 1,100 pounds. Thank you for attending our ribbon cutting ceremony.